This year's summer learning series, Getting My Ducks in a Row Before I Go, reminds me of one of the more interesting projects I worked on at the Gwinnett County Finance Department. Without getting into too much inside baseball, my risk management division was charged with designing, establishing, and most of all, educating employees about a new pension plan. Over the course of several months, we held town hall meetings with employee groups. We used videos, PowerPoint presentations, guest speakers, and had question and answer sessions. Of course, no matter how much we explained the improvements we were making in the plan and the choices folks would now have under the new plan, all they heard was the dreaded word, change. While our summer program here at Faith isn't about changing a benefit package, it is about changing your way of thinking. One area where you should consider cha changing your thinking, or maybe even starting to think about it, is regarding making your loved ones and caregivers aware of your needs and desires concerning your quality of life in your final days. No matter how close you are to your family, your doctor, your pastor, and yes, even your attorney and financial advisor, they can't read your mind to determine how you want to be treated physically, spiritually, legally, or financially. This is particularly true if you are critically injured or suddenly struck by an illness that leaves you unable to communicate before you have had these discussions and put them into writing. However, if you've taken time to lay out your plans with these folks ahead of time in an orderly fashion, they will know that the actions that they have to take on your behalf will be in accordance with your wishes. If you take these steps, even though they're not simple, and may cause some anguish, particularly on the part of your loved ones, they will give you and everyone involved with your care more peace of mind when the time comes for action.